So my tomatoes are all pulled out. We're gonna reset. There's been a lot of death in the garden this year. The potatoes and the tomatoes, blight, late blight specifically. So it's been a rough year in the garden. I just ripped out all my tomatoes before I even harvested from them. Most of the varieties I didn't even get to try this year. Um, it is mid-July and they are all out. But we do have some more tomatoes that we're gonna replant, see if we can get, get a harvest off of them. So what am I going to do now? Uh, the garden, I'm ripping out the brassicas from the spring, tomatoes are out, there's really not a lot of summer crops in. So instead, I'm going to bring beauty into the space and I'm gonna go in and fill in a lot of the empty spaces with some flowers. I have just like a bunch of different flower seeds, um, zinnias and nasturtium and phasalia. And I'm just gonna fill the spaces with beauty and then soon we're gonna be planting our fall garden. So I wanted to bring you guys along with me. You saw me rip out the tomatoes. That was really hard, but it had to be done because of the late blight. And now you can watch as we reset and we start over because that is what this season needs. To help me reset the garden, I have this delivery of two cubic yards of compost and that should help me fill in some spaces, add a lot of nice organic matter and get more things planted. <laughs> So this is the area that I need to reset a lot of. So I'm gonna come in here, there's some sweet potatoes, but in between the sweet potatoes, I'm just gonna plant um, some calendula and zinnia. So let's get that area reset. And then over here, I need to pull out these brassicas um, other than the Brussels sprouts. So I need to pull out the broccoli and the cauliflower that didn't do anything. And I need to add some more compost to this no dig bed. And then we're gonna fill in this area with some more flowers. We just finished a work day. Also, we're entertaining this little guy. Wanna say hi, Malachi? Uh. <laughs> I love cameras. So we're gonna go outside today and we are gonna finish off cleaning up the garden. Um, we normally don't clean up the garden really apart from the spring and then we clean up in the fall. But this year we are doing a summer reset. As you know already, if you're watching this video, all of our tomatoes died, we pulled them all out. So now we are resetting things. We are getting things weeded, we're getting new compost down, we're getting things mulched, we're getting uh, potatoes harvested. It's just a lot of resetting and um, finishing, fixing things up because it's kind of a disaster out there. So last night I weeded, I, I worked on cleaning up some of the garden, but there's a lot more to do so we're gonna kind of head out there now that the work day is done it is six o'clock and we're gonna get some garden work done and malachi is gonna hang out in the stroller while we do some work outside uh, uh, <laughs> is that funny you see yourself <laughs> i'll point out what things need to be done and you'll grab the cardboard to put down and put wood chips down and i'll work on like the rows the garden while you do that and we'll both kind of tag team malachi Okay, we can try. We can do our best. So yesterday I cleaned up in this area over here and I started cleaning up over here. So in here I need to top off with compost and I just need to continue doing some weeding throughout the garden. So I pulled out a lot of the brassicas and that's just some leaf mulch that I'm putting down. I've got some soybeans in here. I've just got some more plant matter that I laid down as mulch. And then I have a bunch of grass weeds just in this area in here. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna get rid of those. I think I'm gonna lay down some cardboard in here to kill off some of the grass weeds. 
and then I gotta figure out what else I'm doing in this area. Huh? When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. What we have, let's hold on tight yeah. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright out here as you can tell I'm a sweaty mess but I didn't tell you guys I did leave like four or five tomato plants in here um, they do have disease but the disease on these plants is so much more mild so I decided to give it a shot and see what would happen um, I definitely have some blue beauty in here which actually one of them looks ripe so let's go around and see if any of them are ready um, but I wanted to show you what I left behind and yeah, I still have those extra tomato starts to plant, but the garden is just such a disaster right now that it's really hard to even know where to start. I did clean up the no-dig bed, which I'll show you in a minute. It's just, it's just a hard year. It's a really hard year. To a certain extent, I've just surrendered and just accepted that this is going to be what it's going to be, and next year will be a fresh start. But man, guys, last year was so abundant, so easy, so little so little effort I was pregnant and and things were just coming out of the garden like crazy and this year is just the exact opposite I'm putting in so much effort and I don't have the time to and it's just such a different year and I think it just shows you how much of gardening is really out of your control so if you're having a hard time in the garden don't put it all on yourself um, yes there's a lot you can do there's a lot you can learn there are certain aspects of the garden that come with come with the time and effort and knowledge that you put into it but at the same time sometimes you just have to let go and surrender and accept what happens and I think that teaches a lot of grace and patience in that in that whole process so let's let's turn you guys around and show you guys these tomato plants so these are the plants I left behind and you can see some disease got some little spots down there some mild disease but nothing horrible and they're putting on a lot of new growth they're looking pretty good overall so on the other side I think I see a ripe tomato so let's go take a look at that okay so this is the other the other side and I see a ripe fruit in here oh. so beautiful this is a blue beauty tomato so cool let me just turn you guys around and show you the state of the garden um, I'm warning you it's a mess and there's a lot of empty space and that is because we pulled out the garlic and we need to harvest all the potatoes at least the potatoes that we planted in this main area so there's just a ton of empty space and there's a lot of work to be done I'm thinking I'm going to just come in here with some rotted hay and just put it right back down cover up those weeds kill, kill them with smothering and then we got to harvest the potatoes, um, the rest of the soft neck garlic, and just clean things up. But I've gotten a good start, so I need to just accept I'm limited with time and give myself a lot of grace here. So I'll show you guys what we're working with. So far, I've done a lot of cleanup in this area right here up until these peppers. I cleaned up where the tomatoes were over there and I've cleaned up a lot of the no dig bed. So you can see that area over there is all nice and cleaned up. I also pulled out the tomatoes. Gosh, that artichoke flower is just gorgeous. And then back here, this all needs to be cleaned up. So this is soft neck garlic in here, which is really hard to get out because the ground is so wet and we're gonna have to dig it out. And there are a lot of volunteer potatoes that we have to pull out. Potatoes all in here. 
this was all garlic and you can see there's just weeds so I need to come in here with the rotted hay and just put it all down for the fall garden over here we have our winter squash climbing the trellis and potatoes in the middle the corn is looking really good this is a sweet corn in here and then back there we have a really tall glass gem corn the glass gem and the popping corn are so tall this was all garlic and I did plant some small little tomato starts so we'll see what happens there um, then we've got my really pretty holding trellis the corn is at least like eight feet tall super tall and we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of corn and the popping corn is even taller I did not thin out the corn and that was a big mistake because there is so much corn over there the stalks are like this far apart it's just crazy luckily everything's doing okay also, I'm pretty sure my horses nommed off all of that corn there. It's all like eaten, which is kind of funny actually. Do you want to say hi? Guys, we mowed this pasture already this year. That is what happens when you get so much rain. That corn in there is so densely planted. Got all my peppers in here, which are doing okay not super well on top of all this rain we've had you know we've had just inches and inches in july like so much rain we're about to get a bunch of cool weather so like next week the highs are all in the low 70s which is way too cold for this time of year so things like peppers aren't going to be doing real hot and it's just such a bummer because my peppers are so beautiful this year my starts were so healthy and i get them in the ground and then we have cool wet weather, which is the opposite of what Pepper likes. Pepper likes it dry and warm, but I mean, these plants are beautiful, so I've done everything I can, and I guess I just have to just, like I said, relinquish control as hard as that might be. As hard of a year as it's been, I've learned a lot of things, like the importance of diversifying your gardens. I'm so grateful for the kitchen garden. I'm so grateful for the hookah culture bed. Let's go finish by showing you guys the hookah culture bed and the kitchen garden. And then I'm going to head inside and relax before bed. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share I see how much is spilling out over these beds These are a couple watermelon plants And a couple pumpkin plants And they are just loving all the compost that we put in there Sunflowers are getting taller and taller more sunflowers over there. Okra is gonna blossom really soon. And I have a tomato in here, which is so exciting. So glad I put a tomato in this kitchen garden. Okay friends, this is where I leave you. Don't be too sad for me about the tomatoes. I'll recover. Um, but I hope you don't feel alone if you're having struggles too. I'll see you guys soon. Bye friends.